Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you are all good. The illness hasn't gone anywhere. If anything, the illness has got worse. I, when I last vlogged, I was saying to you guys I didn't feel my best. I then went to Manchester at the weekend to see, <coughs> to see two of my friends and obviously had a few drinks. Had more than a few drinks actually, Dion, if you want to be completely honest. Um, and that definitely didn't do me well either. And I think my body is literally just like, Dion, sorry, I really, this angle isn't the best. I feel like my body is like, Dion, you need to just have a few quiet days. You need to just stop. So it's a Monday. Please just bear with the throat and the constant having a like deep breathe <laughs> and clearing my throat. But it's a Monday. I actually slept in this morning until nine o'clock. Guys, you know that's not me. Like, I'm up at 5.15 every day, Monday to Friday, apart from Thursday, is when I have my run day. But I'm up and at the gym pretty much every day. I, that's how I know I'm not well, because I literally could not move from bed. I was laid, I was like, no. Like, I'm not moving. So... I actually had a really slow morning, just tidy in the house after the weekend. Did some work from bed with a coffee, which again, just felt nice. I felt like I needed it. But it's currently 20 to 12 and I'm gonna go ahead and get a food shop. I need to stock up with lots of nice, healthy food. I also need some meds because I've used everything. And now Jordan says he's starting to feel unwell. So I don't know if I've gave him what I've got, but I just need to stock up on lots of bits and bobs. So we're going to go to the shops this morning. I might actually get a little matcha from Starbucks because I want to try their new strawberry matcha. Sophie said she didn't rate it, but maybe I'll give that a go. And then, yeah, I've actually said to Sharnice, my manager, just that I'm going to have a couple of quiet days, catch up on some admin. I'm actually really sad because I was supposed to be going to an event on Wednesday um, with UK Lash, who are one of my faves. And you know, I love their products and I just feel like it's in Winchester from Newcastle. That's about five hours and feeling the way I do right now, it wouldn't, it's not sensible to do that. I also don't want to go and be around people and potentially spread an illness. So, but welcome back to the vlog. Hopefully we're on the road to recovery. Um, at least I can focus on really getting some like wedding admin done over the next few days, catching up on some life admin that I need to do. You know, like boring, boring stuff that no one likes doing. But, you know, you guys along with me, this utility room does need a clean. Can you see? She's not looking great. Um, let me grab my bags for life. I think two should do. Do you want to see my outfit of the day? I mean, it's really nothing interesting, but uh, I'll show you anyway. I've got on another version leggings, but I got these literally years ago, like when they first started doing leggings and stuff is when I got these. Um, and they're just like a really nice green color. I thought they're given spring and it's actually blue skies and very spring vibes out there. And I thought, you know what, let's get some color. So they're just like a nice seamless legging. They're really comfortable. I've then got this vanish. Actually, is that how you say it or is it van? Vanquish. Vanquish? Not sure. It's got the really minimal brand in there and it's just like a t-shirt, comfy gym t-shirt, um, fourth and reckless coat because I'm assuming it is still cold out there even though it's blue skies, Zara cap, plaid, I'm going to put my ASICs on, um, and then my Goyard bag because I always take that when I'm shopping because I can just lob stuff in. But yeah, happy Sunday or happy whenever you're watching this. Love you all. Let's get into the vlog.
Oh, sorry about that. Okay, B&M done. Got some bits and bobs that I needed from there. M&S done because I seen a TikTok of someone in M&S. M&S clothes are a big sleigh at the minute, so I wanted to go and have a look. Anyway, ended up, oh, sorry, I don't know if you can see me. Ended up finding some denim heels. Now, I've wanted to get some denim small heels for quite a while because um, you might remember the Sandro dress that I got from Selfridges. I really wanted to find a nice denim heel to wear with, hi, to wear with that dress because it's got like a denim trim on it almost. So I thought a denim heel and a little denim bag would be such a cute vibe. Um, and m and literally had them and they're so nice. They had so many nice heels. I could have bought like three different pairs, but I thought, no, Dion, chill out, hon. Uh, but yeah, very, very impressed. I'll show you them when we get home. And I think I might wear them with the dress in London because I've been waiting for an occasion to wear it. And we're going to London at the weekend. So maybe I'll do the dress. Oh, I've just missed a good space there because I was too busy chatting. Um, the dress with the denim heels this weekend, I feel like would look gorge. Um, I'm just getting to Tesco. Ready to do the food shop and I'm now starving. So that's great. Okay, food shop done. I am starving, I've had nothing to eat today yet. Get me home and get me some food. However, I did get the strawberry matcha. Let's give it a taste test. Sophie said that once she drank all the strawberry bit, it just tasted like a normal matcha, which, what's going on with my hair? Which I get, I feel like I need to like mix it in. So maybe I should just like wait until I get home to give it a good mix. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Mmm, I like it. That's nice. It's not like too strawberry, where it's like, you know, that really artificial strawberry taste, which I don't really like. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a yes for me. I'd get that again. Delish. I'm going to drive home and I'll catch up with you all when we get back. Can I just say, it actually feels a little bit warm outside. It's blue skies. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Is this the start of spring? I bloody well hope so. Hello, 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 the babies. so crazy with um, these bits. Let me just take that out because I can't take myself seriously when I look like that. But we're home. The more that I've drank this, I get what Sophie's saying. That like even though I mixed it in, the strawberry flavour is very mild. Like the first few drinks, I was like, wow, that's so nice. But then it kind of just tastes like a matcha. And I feel like I'd probably just prefer to get sugar-free vanilla syrup in there. Because then it's like throughout the whole drink. But still nice nevertheless. But yeah, worth a try. Let's start with the, the fun. The fun purchase from MS. Um, so like I said, I got some shoes. Which, let me show you. How cute are they and also the heel height is a bit of me like a small comfy heel is right up my street they're just actually a denim heel i feel like even in the summer with like a little white dress with denim shorts and a white shirt like these are just a good summer heel to throw on and then obviously with the sandro dress the dogs have both decided that they're now going to eat their food so if you can hear crunching in the background that's what that is um these are 35 pound so again good price 
Um, but yeah, I love them. I also popped in the super drug and got Sudafed. And a new deodorant. This is my fave deodorant, by the way. Mitchum's. Oh, no, that's not my favourite. My favourite is the coconut one. This is eucalyptus. Sure, it'll be nice. Anyway. I thought I'd give you a little haul of everything that I picked up on our food shop. I haven't done this in a while and I love seeing what people get. So let's, let's run through this. First up, poppadoms. Because I'm going to make a curry this week. Thought we could have some poppadoms and mango chutney. Gorge. Top up of some honey and also some of the drizzly peanut butter. Which is the best thing ever. I've just run out of both of these. Um, but this on the granola with yoghurt is just my favourite thing ever. This Spanish style grains and rice is so nice. I'm going to do this tonight with some chicken and some tender stem broccoli. It just has a really nice taste. Cauliflower rice. When we do a curry, I like to have this and then I'll have like a naan or something on the side. And um, it just feels a little bit lighter. Also love these rices because they're smaller, so they're perfect for me. Like Jordan would have obviously a full rice to himself, but I only like about half. So I end up wasting rice quite a lot of the time. Um, so these are perfect because you can just have the individual little packets. Sweet corn, I just use that in a lot of different things. Salmon, I'm going to do salmon one night this week and then loads of different chicken just for various meals throughout the week. Yakults for the gut health. Oats because we just haven't got any and there's been a few times that I thought, oh, some porridge would just be handy. So I thought, let me stock up on that for one of the jars. The best granola in the world. Honestly, if you have not tried this, it is the best. We are obsessed with it. I have that with yogurt pretty much every day. This bread, I've seen, I've seen a few people talk about this because it hasn't got loads of added crap in it, basically. Um, so I wanted to pick it up and try it. But it's literally just a sourdough toast. Also got some rye bread because I've never tried rye bread before. And it's one of those things that I always see health queens talk about. And I thought, I'm going to try this. I'm also going to make something for my lunch today. Well, not for lunch, kind of for like a little snack. Um, which, well, which includes rye bread. Or this, I don't know yet. Maybe I'll try this today so I can give my review. Um, wraps, tender stem broccoli, lettuce, cucumber, candy floss, grapes are my favourite thing ever. I spoke about them before. They're just delicious. So grapes, I've got two of them. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries for my smoothie bowls. Avocado, cottage cheese. A razor because my estrid razor I need some new heads for. I forgot to order them. Um so I picked up this because I need to shave. Tomatoes, bananas, lemons. This is the yogurt I have in my smoothie bowls. Not smoothie bowls, my yogurt bowls. Love it. My favourite flavour of little moons, the iced latte coffee ones, are so good. Onions, nans for when I make curry, sweet potato fries, just to have in the freezer, and then these. I am so excited. Should we actually do a taste test of these now? Honestly, I'm so excited. So I've seen these on TikTok and the lady that served me in Tesco was like, have these gone viral or something? Because everyone's bought them today. I was like, yeah, the viral on TikTok. So it's the True Fru Nature's Raspberries are Frozen Fresh in White and Dark Chocolate. They also had a Pina Colada one, but that doesn't really appeal to me. And apparently the strawberry ones with milk chocolate, but they were out of stock in Tesco. This is them. Let's give them a go. Do you just eat them straight? Keep frozen, remove product from pouch and wait 15 minutes. Surely I can just eat it because it's been in the car, not in the freezer. Oh my god. Oh my goodness me. I'm so glad I got two packs. They are insane. If you see them, go and get them. Granted, right, you could definitely make them yourself. You just dip some raspberries in white chocolate and dark chocolate, but the convenience of that, and they are... I'm going to have to try and forget they're in the freezer. I will eat that whole thing today. I'm not even joking. I'm in the mood to eat today. Mmm. Also picked up some flowers. I always get fresh flowers when I go and do the food shop, and I just thought they were nice and cute for spring. Love these flowers. Um, 
But yeah, let me pop all this away. I'm going to make myself my lunch. But is it lunch? I don't know if it's lunch. I don't know if it's going to fill me enough for lunch. But basically, if you don't follow M the Nutritionist, you need to. Her recipes are insane. Love her. Um, I saw her do a hot honey cottage cheese on like toast situation and I thought that looks like my street so I'm going to do some rye bread with cottage cheese and the hot honey which is basically just honey you heat it up a little bit put some chilli flakes in mix it together I just feel like that'll be delish so I'm going to make that let's do that first because I'm starving Okay, I don't think mine will ever look as good as Emma the Nutritionist's did. I need a knife and fork. What am I even doing? Right. Okay, let's give this a little taste test. Definitely not going to be enough for a lunch. But maybe a little snack. Mmm. Mmm. The honey with the cottage cheese. I can see... You can see the hype. I actually really like that rye bread. I don't know if I should have toasted it longer because it's quite like soft. Let me know if you're a rye bread girly, but it tastes nice. It tastes like something I've had before. It kind of tastes like fruit loafy. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like I'm literally like taking so long to do everything today like it's it's literally nearly four o'clock get confused how it's got to that time if I'm being totally honest um but I also went to B&M and I've got a big box of stuff the reason I got that box which I will show you the box in a minute is because I've started getting quite a lot of wedding things delivered um like things for the actual wedding day little bits and bobs and at the minute they're all just like on the side in our spare bedroom and i was like i really should put them in a box to like protect them and just mean that everything's together i'm not going to misplace things and everything can stay secure in a box so that's why i got the big box but that was also just from b m and of course i just filled it with all the stuff to make it easier um i also got this a bit random but it's a little housekeeping like a caddy thing. What's what's it actually called? Is it a caddy? I think it is. Yeah, housekeeping caddy. Um, just when I'm cleaning around the house, I'm always carrying loads of products to rooms with me. So I thought that would be handy for when I'm doing bathrooms and things to just like put my cleaning supplies in. I'm actually gonna put my bathroom cleaning supplies in there now. Um, then I just basically stocked up on lots of cleaning bits and bobs. I was just in desperate need. So some new cloths there. Power bathroom. It's the flora spray. I can go in the caddy. Toilet phase and fresh in the caddy. Multi-surface polish. This is more for our dining table and for wooden things. Carpet refresh. 
for the carpet. Another carpet refresh because I really love, love that. It makes the house smell so nice when I spray that. Some vanish for the laundry. Vical spray for the bathrooms and bleach spray for the bathrooms. Toilet bleach. This is like the best, all right? And I know it's not like the nice smelling ones, but it just makes the bathroom smell like it's been deeply cleaned and it makes me feel like it really is clean. <laughs> Scent boosters. Elbow grease surface scrub wipes. I've got these for the tiles in the bathroom. I do obviously go in with my mop and stuff, but sometimes in just like the really difficult areas, I could do with like scrubbing with a wipe. So I got them. Big and strong bathroom wipes. Again, sometimes you just need to go around with a wipe. I don't really like using, um, I don't really like using wipes, but when I'm doing like the toilet and stuff, I don't like using reusable cloths. I know that's not the best, but I just, sometimes I'll, you need a wipe, all right? Um, twin pack of laundry gel because we've run out of everything. You always run out of everything at the same time, don't you? Um, and that's everything. And then just my big box, ready to put wedding stuff in. Yee so this is my dinner tonight. I'm absolutely starving. Cannot wait to dig into this. Chicken, avocado, tender stem broccoli, which I've put balsamic on, onion, garlic, chilli and the grains and rice that i showed you from the food shop earlier i'm gonna put some nando's perronese on top and that is my yummy dinner which really tried to test me this morning as you all saw from that spillage i really thought today's really going to be one of those days because about half an hour before the matcha spillage i had a phone call from my amazing wedding planner to let me know that precisely four months actually less less than four months before my wedding my florist has um, decided she's not going to be our florist anymore. At this point, I'm just like, I'm just basically being held together by one tiny piece of string. At this point, but let me drink my silly little matcha with my silly little glass straw in my silly little actually my silly big ice cubes and just hope and pray that life's gonna sort itself out on a serious note not really how i was expecting my morning to go to find out that our florist is no longer going to be our florist nothing has happened um by the way like there's no drama there it's just We've been going back and forth on a few different things and to be honest i agree with her points and we're not really aligning on the vision if that makes sense um like what i originally thought we wanted is kind of changing and whatever 
it just isn't working anymore. So I get it and I respect her honesty with me. Um, but that now means we're getting married in four months and we haven't got a florist. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Praise Jesus hallelujah for my wedding planner because I'm jumping on a call with her in the next 15 minutes. She's got four different florists who are all available on our wedding date who have seen the brief, know the budget and hopefully hopefully one of them wants to do the wedding. If not, don't really know what the option is there to be honest but Alicia, my wedding planner, has assured me that it will be fine. She's not stressed so I shouldn't be stressed and um, yeah, we'll get it sorted get a new florist by the end of today and it just means going through the whole plan with them and just making sure that we're very aligned with the brief of the wedding. But yeah, today was supposed to be um, a little bit more, not chilled, but I had some other things to do. I'm now going to have to spend a lot of time looking over wedding stuff, which I'm going to go and do now. I've also decided that since I'm going to be sat in front of my laptop, it's probably a good time to work through a big a big list of other things wedding related today um so hopefully it should get to tonight and i should feel a lot more cool calm and collected than i do right now i feel like i'm just a bit like honestly when i had that phone call with my wedding planner i was like i am this close to a breakdown right now she was like no she was like do you don't need to be that close to a breakdown it's all under control and then i rang jordan and you know men are just like so relaxed about things or at least jordan is like i rang him i was like our oh, florist has cancelled it's four months to the wedding and he was like it's fine I, I i get why i can understand you know it's fine and i was like maybe i should try and be that chilled but you know i'm just not right now i mean the sun is coming in and that's stunning so that's making me very happy to be fair i've just had a look through some of the other florists which i've been sent who are available on my date and are happy and want to do it and they all look great like they look really really great and some of them i've actually seen before and love their work so maybe actually no not maybe you all know i am a believer in everything happens for a reason and the universe works in its own ways of what's meant to be will be so you know let's try it all just remain calm I'll update you how today goes and how the meeting with my wedding planner goes in terms of finding a new florist and yeah what will my brain be consumed with when this wedding is over and done with i totally get why people are like what do you think about after your wedding because all i think about is this wedding well, I'm feeling a little bit better today. I will say that. My throat doesn't sound very good. But I did make it to the gym this morning. So, there's a win of the day. Okay, call with my wedding planner has been done. I actually feel fine. I actually feel quite good about the situation. Because we've... I feel like the vision is going to get executed now. And I've got a very clear... Sorry, you can see my ring light behind that. I've got a very clear vision of what what we want now. So that's great. However, my day has has been turned around because I've had a delivery, a very exciting delivery from Cult Gaia, which I'm so excited about. I saw some bags from Cult Gaia quite a while ago and I was like, that is stunning. And then I forgot about it, if I'm being honest. And then I was browsing Pinterest and I saw it again and I thought, that is the perfect bridal bag. And honestly, it is. Like, let me show you and you'll just understand because I am in love. And I thought, do you know what? From me to me for the wedding. And it arrived today on a day when I needed it. Wow. Is that not just absolutely beautiful? So I just thought for Hindu, for wedding events, even maybe for the wedding day, to be honest, like this could be stunning for the wedding day, but again, the night before, the night after, honeymoon. And then I thought, actually, 
you always need a cream bag in your wardrobe in the summer this will be just the perfect bag to go with anything and i don't really have a dressy cream bag me to me trying to convince myself why i need stuff this was a wedding gift from me to me and i just think it is beautiful if you are a bride to be or you just need a nice cream summer bag it's this gorgeous pearl detail box clutch when I opened it, I was like, that's not going to fit a lot in. But actually, um, it does fit your phone in and has room for other stuff. And I've got the biggest phone, so that's good. Don't know if it would fit my big clunky phone case. Oh, no, it does. She's fitting in there. Um, but it's more for, like, a look, isn't it? It's not for um, functionality, this bag. I just think it's actually the most beautiful bridal bag in the world i am obsessed i am actually obsessed with it i just can't call it comes in loads of different colors as well you know how beautiful is that it's like a statement bag i got it from selfridges online i got it last night at about eight o'clock and it arrived today at 12 so that is brilliant but i have paid for the um the next day delivery for a year from selfridges so handy like if you need to get a last minute gift for someone really really handy and um, but they also had it on uh, Porter, um a few other places i just thought i'd get it from selfridges because i know their delivery is reliable but yeah i love it so much another gorgeous little wedding accessory to add to the collection yay i'm hoping i'm gonna find my wedding shoes this weekend when me and Jordan are in London. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'm gonna vlog the trip, but that will be a different vlog. But I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling so much better after that call. I feel like I'm excited actually. I feel really inspired for the florals. Um, and we're gonna do some different things. So I'm excited. Hello guys. Good morning from me let me stand you up and see if you wonky no all good how are we all I've done something a little bit different with my hair well actually i've done this before but um i really couldn't be asked to wash it again and i've had it in a middle part paw <laughs> i've had it in a middle part in bun for a few days and i was sick of looking at myself so i thought let me do a little side part in kind of cute a little bit dressier um i've also got some silver earrings in instead of gold so i'm really spicing up my life today um i've just got ready um because i'm gonna head i need to go to primark because i don't know if i mentioned i'm working with primark on instagram which is so exciting because i've literally been a primark customer for so long like I always remember being back at uni like this is going back way back I remember when we'd be going on holiday and we'd go to the metro centre still still going to this day but we'd be young we'd go to the metro centre and me and my sister would get all matching bikinis for our holiday from Primark all of our summer wardrobe would be from there um and then I remember going to uni and literally me and my friend when we had any money being like let's go to Primark and like just loving our lives in there so to now be working with them is actually a bit of a full circle moment and I'm really excited to work with them on some content I mean I take you guys in the vlogs all the time um they've just had a new collection launch with Rita Aurora so I'm gonna go and have a little look at that collection potentially get something from there and put together some outfits so that's fun so that's the plan today let me show you my outfit i just filmed a quick little get ready with me reel i'll put it on screen because um it's a new little film and setup which you saw on the vlog last week but i've just got this top on from zara it's actually a bodysuit really nice actually i really like it it's like high neck kind of like a capped sleeve not like a full I like a long t-shirt like a shorter t-shirt i just think this neckline looks very classy and like timeless really like it then i've just got some zara jeans on you can't even see let me show you my jacket first and then i'll show you the the jeans this is my asos trench which again i think i showed you in last week's vlog i've literally not had it off since i 
got this trench. So good for this time of year when you don't want a big heavy jacket, but you still need something. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of this this year. And then these are my jeans, which are from Zara. I got these quite a while ago. I got a size 12, an oversized fit, but I'm not gonna lie. I think we actually have lost a bit of weight recently. They're a bit too big. Like, they're falling down and they're giving me like a crotch situation. <laughs> it's not cute. Um, so I don't know if I need to either get a belt or maybe just uh, put some smaller jeans on. Maybe I do like more of like a baggy jean, but I don't know. I mean, they'll do for they'll do for today, but yeah, they're definitely a little bit more oversized than what I would have liked. And these little silver earrings are from Amazon. Got them in gold and silver. And actually, I'm using this bag, which I haven't used in ages, which is a bit of a Chanel dupe. But it's from, who remembers Fashion Drug? I don't actually know if Fashion Drug is still up and kicking. If they are, I'll leave it linked down below. If not, then I don't know, but I've had it for literally years. And it's just a really good big black bag. So yeah, let's head to Primark, do a little bit of shopping. And by the way, I'm feeling a little bit better today. My throat is still not its best, um, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. I went to the gym this morning. We actually did something that's called retesting week. So 12 weeks ago, we did um, some certain exercises and then in 12 weeks time, you do it again. So like see how you've improved. So we do it on every day this week in terms of like weights, um, so you can see like how your strength has improved. But on a Wednesday when it's cardio, it is stuff like 30 seconds on the ski, so how many calories you burn, how many box jumps you can do in 30 seconds, how many snatches, how many calories on the bike, how many wall balls, how many skips in 30 seconds, and then a 1K run. And guys, I improved in every single one, which shows that my fitness has improved and I think that's through my regular running and I've literally been doing one run a week one <laughs> I literally can't talk today one run a week um but I improved in every single every single one um my run I improved my time in a minute with by one minute so that you got a minute faster I skips I did 50 skips in 30 seconds last time I did 78 today really proud of that one um what else was quite a big jump I mean I went up in them all um but yeah I was really really happy with that especially since I wasn't feeling very well to actually just see progress and progress that really matters such as your health and your internal fitness not just how you look in the mirror is so motivating and it just really made me proud of myself so I wanted to share that with you all uh but yeah let's head and do some shopping. I'll let you know if I pick anything up. If there's any goodies in there. Or if I spot anything that jumps out since the last time I was there. Guys, I've just done the little jean trick. Which I'm sure you all know this. But if you don't know this. Then this is a good little trick for you. So, can you see? I mean, look. It doesn't look amazing. But where my jacket sits, you can't even see. Um, Basically, through the little belt hoop I put the button through and then you do your button shall I show you so can you see the button's been pulled through right there I can't I need to put you down okay tutorial on <laughs> the button is you're gonna pop the button through there and then do your button up as you normally would sometimes it's a little bit tight but it then kind of acts like a bell when you don't want a bell. Don't say I don't teach you nothing, all right? There you go. And now you can't even really tell, but my jeans are not falling down anymore. Guys, I'm back from the Metro. By the way, I've really leveled up my rye bread since the start of the vlog. Look how gorgeous that looks. We've got the, let me show you, the cottage cheese, hot honey, and I've added tomatoes. And I'm now having avocado better and balsamic Little crunchy monsters down there eating their dinner as well mark was a big slayer honestly i got so many goodies like they really 
are given spring summer in there and I'm here for it. So let me eat my lunch. <laughs> a little Red Bull. And I'll um give you a haul in a minute. Okay, who is ready for a big Oh my goodness me. Right. Right. Guys. What I was trying to say is who is ready for a big haul of some new gorgeous bits? Okay, first things first, I need some lip balm on. This is the gazoo. Could you get your head out of there, please? Don't think there's anything in there for you. Uh, this is the gazoo. Lip oil. I keep this one on my desk. It's a fave of mine. Okay, as I said, I'm working with Primark over on Instagram. Not required to show you guys on here, but I want to give you a haul anyway because I picked up some really good bits. And recently, when I've been going into Primark, I haven't been finding any clothes that I've been liking. I always love Kelly. I always love Thor accessories, uh, homeware, pyjamas, cosy vibes, but I haven't actually been finding good clothes recently. But I will say the one in the Metro Centre has just all been expanded. So it's so much bigger. It was so clean and organised, which just made the whole process so much nicer. And I think they've now got all their lovely spring summer stuff in. So I have picked up so many bits and bobs. I've actually got one two and another three bags of bits so let me start with an accessory which is this little silver bag i actually the reason i got this is i tried an outfit on in the fitting rooms and it looked really nice with this earrings and i thought to myself that needs a little silver bag and i don't have a silver bag even for like on a night hence why i always go for gold but I just like the shape of that. I like that it's like a shoulder bag that can go over like that. But it's still like night out vibes. I really like the shape. This actual bag came in like five different colours. So they had a denim, a pink, a black. You can definitely fit a lot in there. It's part of the Rita Aura collection. It was £10. Um, and yeah, I just don't have a silver bag in my wardrobe. And I thought that would be great for accessorising things up. Next thing was actually something that I saw at the end. I was just heading to the tills and I thought, let me go and quickly look in shoes. Guys, these are given mango vibes. Look at them. How nice are they going to be for the summer? And if you watch the vlogs, you'll know I've been saying I don't own some nice flats that aren't trainers or boots how nice are these gonna be i just thought in the summer they'd be such a great shoe i've started buying shoes in a six because i swear my feet have got bigger and like fives just feel like they're suffocating my feet so i think i'm a six now don't know if your feet are supposed to still be growing at the age of 27 but you know i hope that they bring these out in a few other styles i looked and they didn't have any but i feel like if these are comfortable they'll be a great little throw on shoe to wear i just love this like rattan material texture in the summer because you can pair it with pretty much everything and it works okay moving on to clothes as i said it was given spring in there and this suit was literally as soon as you walk in and i just thought in the spring in the summer this is going to be such a vibe <laughs> And I just thought, in the spring, this is going to be gorgeous. So, it's pink. Guys, sorry if you can hear the dogs, by the way. I need to just let them run around and play fight each other because it keeps them occupied, if I'm being totally honest. The fit of these trousers, guys, I can't even tell you how stunning these are on. So, I got them in a size 10. They sit, they are a little bit low-rise almost, but it's so nice because they're just such a flattering fit. They're a wide leg and it is this pink suit. Colours like this in the spring is honestly just my favourite. I think it looks so fresh. This is a full suit, which I'll show you in a minute. With a little pair of mini heels or even with trainers through the day, it just looks so fresh and chic and I love it. So that is the trousers. 
Then, to go with it, which I absolutely love, is this gorgeous little bralette top. Even with hair like this, I feel like it's a really gorgeous outfit. So, little bralette. I got the bralette in a size 10 slash 12, which is a small. Um, the fit isn't 100% on this, but I think that could just be my boobs ratio i don't know but i feel like i'll have to to be fair i didn't tighten the straps on this so once i've tightened the straps and got them in in place i think i'll be fine but this looks really nice with the trousers especially where it sits a little bit lower you could even do like a cropped white shirt to casual it down a little bit but i love that to go with the trousers because sometimes you don't want to do a full suit and a full blazer that just makes it a little bit more summery However, I did pick up the matching blazer. So the matching blazer I got in a size extra, extra small. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll tell you why, because it's really oversized. Um, I will do proper try on clips for you all, but you can see. Oh, the color is just so nice. It is quite an oversized fit already. Um, so I got a six to eight. Again, this is part of the Rita Aura collection. This was £34. And honestly, the quality is so, so good. Like, this really does feel lovely. What I love about it is that they put the buttons in a baby pink so they don't stand out. Sometimes buttons on a blazer make things look cheap. Um, the matching pink button, I really appreciate that Primark, actually. I really do. This over your shoulders with the bralette and the trousers is just stunning. For like, imagine like a baby shower or like a gender reveal, pink for the girl. No, so sweet. I am so happy with that suit. I then picked up another suit. So a lot of Rita Aurora's collection is denim and tailoring and florals, I'd say was the main things that jumped out at me when I walked in. Um, but I gravitated towards the suits because the quality of them, like I say, is just really nice. The trousers, for this are pretty much the exact same fit as the pink ones which i loved i did try on another suit did i get the trousers yeah i did actually i think i don't know i'll have a look when it's in there um but they're more of like a cigarette leg these are wide leg which i think is my favorite so this is more of like a linen-y material which makes it feel really nice for the spring summer it's obviously the pinstripe detail but i just think this looks really expensive i think again this is given like mango zara and trousers like this I wear all spring, summer, just with little racer tops. I got it in a size 10. The bottoms were £18. And then, again, the match and blazer. This is a different fit to the pink. It's only single-breasted. But just a gorgeous quality with it. Like, it feels heavy. It's a really nice material. A little bit itchy material, but I always find that that material is, like, that linen-y linen blend. This blazer is also more of a long line, so it would look great as well with like little shorts in the summer, denim shorts, racer top. Just the light feel and the light colour is a good transitional blazer. A lot of my blazers that I currently have are quite thick Zara wintery ones, so I'm happy to have some more spring blazers in my wardrobe. Oh, she's gave me all the hangers. I'm sure Jordan will appreciate all of these. Yes, I did pick up the final suit. I didn't, couldn't remember if I'd got the trousers or not, but I did. So, this is the final suit. This on camera is looking the exact same colour as the other one, but not pinstripe. It's more of like a yellow in person. Kind of like a really muted lemon colour, which I just love. Like I said, those pastel colours in the spring, summer are just gorgeous. So these are the trousers. They are not a linen material but not suit material like the pink one i got a size 10 again of rita's collection and these are more of a cigarette straight leg trouser rather than a wide leg do really like these but i need to style it up and check how i like the fit of them alongside the blazer however i did with this blazer size up to a 12 because i thought i could wear this even as a blazer dress or with little white shorts, but do the blazer up so you can't really see them. So this is a double breasted blazer. It's got really nice tortoiseshell buttons. Again, 
makes it feel a little bit more luxurious and a little bit more expensive. This one was £32. And again, I just think like in this transitional period, it's such a great suit. I actually tried the blazer on as well with my denim jeans I'm wearing now. And it looked so nice. I might wear this for London at the weekend. I feel like that could be a nice outfit to go shopping in. And then the final item of clothing which I picked up was this denim. It says denim kimono. Is it a kimono? I mean, what is a kimono? I'm not too sure. When I think of kimono, I think of like a thing you put over your bikini. I don't know, but this is part of the Rita Ora collection as well. It was £26. I got size large, which is size 14 to 16. This is why I always say to you guys, I don't wear a certain size. I don't judge myself on being a certain size because I literally wear different sizes in every item of clothing. I own because it just depends on the fit that you want it depends on the style that you want you could want something super fitted you could want something oversized it just depends um so yeah I got this in a size large 14 to 16 did I say it was 26 pound it's 26 pound and it's this really nice almost denim jacket but it ties in the middle like this so kind of like a slouchy denim shirt vibe vision I had was to cross it over um and have it quite like reserved at the front Wear it with a denim maxi skirt and put a big belt to cinch it in. I feel like that'll look really nice with some little, maybe black heeled boots. Oh, this was what I tried on with the silver, actually. Silver. Silver. Do you see the vision? I just think this colour blue with silver looks really nice. But yeah, very, very impressed. Let me know what your faves are. Um, I'll probably be styling all of these up over my Instagram so if you want to see like the outfits properly styled head over there to see but I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I think it might be quite long hopefully I'm about to start a new vlog because we are off to London at the weekend we're going suit shopping for Jordan I want to do wedding shoe shopping fragrance shopping so we've got a fun wedding filled planning weekend coming up and of course i'm bringing you guys along with me so make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this one love you all so much have an amazing week and i'll see you in the next one bye